All right, I'm on hole number six of the 2019 fall major. Let's go to Golf Clash Notebook and check it out. Hole number six. I don't even remember the holes. This is a par five, right? Big par five. Now, in my upper developed account, my goal is to get out into this area right here with my extra mile. A Titan, the king of balls, and to try and end up out in this area. Now, I will tell you that if you've got, if you end up, if you've got upper developed stuff, if you've got a Nirvana in your back and you end up in the rough up here, you can get on and it is difficult. What will typically end up happening is you can bear, you have to make a really good wind adjustment. You have to get right up against this rough up here and you're bouncing it over and has just barely enough topspin to get to the other side. And typically if I find myself in a situation where I've overdrawn it here, I can make this bounce and I'm more concerned really about this bounce. I do not want to clip that rough. So I'm not going to give myself too much room down here because you you don't have room to give yourself because your your topspin will will barely or almost not get you over to the other side. But what it'll typically do if you've got all that topspin on there is when you clip, if you clip the rough, it'll bleed you out and you'll end up right out here in front. And it is a fairly decent chip in to get on. If you've got upper developed stuff, it's it's a pretty standard chip in. If you've got lower developed stuff, it could still be a little bit tricky depending on what clubs you have in your bag. So you can get up here, but this is if you have a Nirvana. So if you don't have a Nirvana and you've got something else in your bag, you're going to end up, if you end up in the rough up here, you're going to end up having to lay up or you're going to have to do some type of shot that'll, you know, some max overpower shot to try and get over. And that's going to be super dangerous. My goal in my upper level account is to get out into this area and I want to do a rough bump with my sniper to bring it towards the hole. I found that this whole, the, this par five and the last par five, they're just very inconsistent. It's the inconsistent bounces. You can be right on it. You can make everything right and it misses. And I'm going to do the rough bump here because I think the rough bump gives you a pretty good shot at it where if you can hit that sniper right, it does run a little bit straighter when you do the rough bump. The other way to come at it is if you're out in this area, you can bring your guardian and you can engage the green over here so that you can try and backspin it towards the hole. All right, so we're on hole six. So I'm going to do the green is uphill from where we're at. So we should be taking a little bit of wind off from this shot to this shot for that second shot. The the goal here, the the this is definitely a one shot at a time. You've got to get out into this area. Now there's a ridge that runs right along here. And so when you come at it from here coming over, you want to be on this side of the ridge. Especially as it gets towards the end, because if you engage the ridge too early in the run, what it'll do is it's going to suck it really hard to the left and you take a risk of ending up in the rough down here. And even with their Nirvana, if you're in the rough on the bottom, you're going to have a very difficult shot. You're probably going to have to lay up on this pad. So the goal is, is that if you want to typically on a shot like this, I'll use curl and I'll aim right towards the ridge. So if we look at where the tee box is at and you're coming out in this direction, you know, you're engaging that ridge and then the curl is going to bring you back and cover this distance. So I don't want to I don't want to try and set myself up so that I'm hitting a straight. I do not want to hit the ball straight on this. I want to have some kind of movement on the ball. Side spin, curl. Cuz I want everything here is I want everything here to move to the right. And so if you hit the ball straight and let's say you were here and you hit the ball perfect, then you're going to you're taking the risk when you engage this ridge over here that you could bleed off. If you hit the ball great to the right, you're definitely going to end up in the rough. If you hit the ball, or excuse me, great to the left. If you hit the ball great to the right, you know, you could be in the clear. But I want the ball to move to the right. I want to stay to the right. Even if I hit the ball to the left, I want the ball to go to the right. So the way you do that is you put curl on it. So I'm going to be aiming out in this direction with curl so that even if I hit the ball great to the left, when it hits out here, it goes to the right. But the goal is definitely to get out there where you can clear this tree out here. Now, I don't have a sniper in this account, so let's see what we've got as far as wood. 
with topspin. I'm not sure if a Viper has enough topspin. It's only got 29 topspin. I don't think that's enough to get me out of that rough and get me all the way to the hole. It can get me out of the rough and get me towards the hole, but I think I'd end up being short of the green. So if you've got a sniper, that's definitely... Let's check out my horizon. I know it has enough topspin. And it's and the accuracy on it is super bad. But that might be the club. So it's a 2.8 per ring. I'm going to write that number down. Horizon. 2.8 per ring at max club. And I think that's that's what I'm going to have to bring here. So I'm going to bring I'm going to bring an extra mile. And all things being even, what it should be is an extra mile and a horizon. The Saturn, the short iron, are, none of the rest of those clubs are going to come into play unless I epic fail the drive. Big topper is not going to be enough to get me over there. I definitely want to bring a three power ball. Extra miles hitting at uh, 30. So what's that? 2.4 per ring. I'm trying to make some notes here. So I'm writing down some numbers as I look them up. 2.4. All right, let's go try it. Let's see what we can get done. My plan going in today was I wasn't going to qualify this again. I was just going to go out and play it just to see what the holes are look like. But I'm having a pretty decent round, just shooting the minimum score. I picked up one. I picked up a uh, hole number five. All right, I'm going to take the wind out. I'm going to take some of the wind out. Do a max overpower. Hit a one ring great to the right. I was tentative on my top spin there. Because I definitely in this account do not want to bleed out in the front. And so I'll have to work that top spin number. And the reason I took the wind out there is I could have used the wind and it could have helped. It would have helped me. I wouldn't have had to do such a max overpower. But here's the thing about wind when you're doing straightforward shots like that, where it comes to an end, you can overshoot the shot. Let's say in the qualifying round, my opponent's got a white ball. They got a 5-3 wind. And then in the opening round, they if they do the same thing they did last tournament, they drop the wind about two and a half two and a half miles per hour. And then in the weekend round, it was up higher. So the wind is such a variable that if you're really counting on that wind to get you into a perfect spot, uh oh, you could find yourself, it's a, every shot's gonna be a little different. There are some times you can use the wind and you're just trying to get raw distance. But this is one of those times where you really wanna have a little control It's minus 10 to the cup. So it would be four. And the horizon hits at 2.8. So that leaves me one, two. So I'm going to do a ring in three quarters. Hit it one ring great to the right. Let's try and bleed myself up there. Nice and easy. So that's definitely the combination of clubs that I'm going to bring there. The clubs that I have in my bag, those are going to be the best choices. I've got the best distance club that I have in my bag. N n and there's no accuracy here. <laughs> I mean, they, these clubs at these levels, there's no such thing as accuracy. So 
the goal is, is you want to try and hit as perfect as you can, but leave yourself as much room out there. So if you hit a grate to the left or the right, it's not going to kill you. I see a lot of people set up shots and the only opportunity they have on that shot is if they hit it perfect. If they, if they don't hit it perfect, they're in, they're in big trouble because they set the shot up. They pinch themselves so tight that their only hope Obi-Wan is a, is a perfect shot. Clip the tree, bam, lay it right down. You gotta go around those trees. Your club has a thing called a curl and you can set it up where you can curl it around the trees. All right, that was hole number six. So my goal today was to figure out what's the best way to achieve the minimum score. And the best way to achieve that minimum score on that hole was with the extra mile and a horizon with the clubs that I have. And a Titan, the king of balls. All right, that was hole number six of the 2019 Fall Major. Thanks for watching.